Hello everyone, welcome back to our educational channel. In this video, we will be discussing the junctional rhythm, a type of cardiac arrhythmia that originates from the AV junction of the heart. A junctional rhythm can have important clinical implications, and it's important to understand the mechanisms and symptoms associated with this condition. Without further ado, let's dive into the topic. First, let's start by understanding the mechanism of a junctional rhythm. Normally, the heart's electrical impulses originate from the sinoatrial or SA node, which acts as the primary pacemaker of the heart. The impulses then travel to the atrioventricular or AV node, which delays the conduction of the electrical impulse to allow the atria to contract before the ventricles. In a junctional rhythm, the electrical impulses originate from the AV junction instead of the SA node, leading to a heart rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. There are three types of junctional rhythms, junctional escape rhythm, accelerated junctional rhythm, and junctional tachycardia. A junctional escape rhythm occurs when the SA node fails to initiate an electrical impulse, and the AV junction takes over as the primary pacemaker of the heart. An accelerated junctional rhythm occurs when the AV junction takes over the pacing of the heart, resulting in a faster heart rate than the junctional escape rhythm. Junctional tachycardia is a rapid heart rate originating from the AV junction, usually greater than 100 beats per minute. Now let's discuss the symptoms associated with a junctional rhythm. In many cases, patients with a junctional rhythm may not experience any symptoms. However, some patients may experience symptoms such as fatigue, dizziness, shortness of breath, chest discomfort, and palpitations. These symptoms are due to the reduced cardiac output resulting from the slower heart rate in a junctional rhythm. In many cases, a junctional rhythm does not require treatment. However, if the patient is experiencing symptoms, treatment options may include medications such as beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or digoxin. In some cases, electrical cardioversion may be necessary to restore a normal heart rhythm. The diagnosis of a junctional rhythm is made by performing an EKG. Let us do a six-step analysis of an EKG strip of a junctional rhythm. First, let's examine the rhythm of its regularity. A junctional rhythm will typically present with a regular rhythm, with a constant distance, between each QRS complex. This is due to the AV junction acting as the primary pacemaker, which provides a consistent pacing to the heart. Next, let's look at the rate. The heart rate in a junctional rhythm is usually between 40 to 60 beats per minute. This is due to the fact that the AV junction is taking over as the primary pacemaker of the heart. This is in contrast to a normal sinus rhythm which has a rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute, where the SA node is the primary pacemaker. Moving on to the P waves. In a junctional rhythm, there will be an absence of P waves. This is because the electrical impulse that initiates the heartbeat is originating from the AV junction, rather than the SA node. As a result, the atria are not being depolarized in a way that generates a P wave. You can have P waves, but they are likely going to be inverted and are found before, during, or after the QRS complex. Next step is to determine the PR interval. In a junctional rhythm, since there are no P waves, the PR interval is not measurable. Finally, let's take a look at the QRS complex. In a junctional rhythm, the QRS complex will typically appear normal, with a duration of less than 0.12 seconds. The QRS complex will also be upright in leads 2, 3, and AVF, and inverted in leads AVR and V1. To summarize, a junctional rhythm is a type of cardiac arrhythmia that originates from the AV junction of the heart. It is characterized by an absence of P waves, a regular rhythm with a heart rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute, and a normal QRS complex. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thanks 
for watching. Subscribe and smash the like button. It will cost you nothing but it will help us immensely.